Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, this is JP again here with another gift. This time I'm going to show you how you can quickly create variants using Bifrost in a compound that I'm going to share with you. But first, let me show you how that works. So I have these four um, uh, meshes, right? So four people. And I'm going to go into my Bifrost browser, which is where I save my my uh, little script. This I have to give credit to Gijun Laforge. Uh, developer for Bifrost USD who showed me how to do this really. I'm just replicating his work. So basically I'm just don't, gonna double click on this uh, and you'll see that creates a graph and is um, pretty much all this. But first I'm gonna show you how that works. Uh, I'm gonna take all these four. I'm gonna middle mouse click, drag and bring in here and I'm gonna just basically cut that connection. Oh, cut that connection and connect this. Now I can hide. Uh, input meshes, and you'll see if I go over here, you see I have variant sets, right? So one, model two, shape two, model three, shape three. So basically, at this point, if all you need, if all you want is this script and you're interested in this, uh, uh, sorry, this compound, you can leave, just download it and use it. But if you want to know how this works, stay, and I'm going to show you how this was created. Um, so for that, let's get this a little bit bigger. Pretty much. And so we start with the at the state layer, at the stage, uh, pretty much. So that's the one. On the at the stage, you create a new prime definition. And the prime definition, uh, you by, by default, comes with the object, you know, just name a model, change the name. And then you're going to go and create a variant set name. So variant set, I create a variant set name model and the shape is called zero. So next step uh, is create a for each loop. So in the for each loop, you create you create a connection directly from here. Once you have the path into the plus sign. So once you have that plus sign, you go inside of there. You see a bunch of things. Uh, for one thing, you need to make sure that this is fine in. So basically that it makes um, an array of objects. Uh, and then you define a USD mesh. Then you connect this to this, to the mesh. Uh, next step is going to create outputs back. So fine in or get some inputs back into the um, this thing here, the for each loop. So first thing you need is the variant name, which you put in there, basically just Pick it like this and put it in there. If it doesn't exist, it goes into the plus sign. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Now, next thing you need to make sure the current index is convert a number to string. So if you click here, you say number, uh, number, number to string, that's the one. Um, and then you need a join string. Uh, this basically just to make sure that those are all joined. Uh, and then you're going to connect the string into the join string string, which is basically a new one and the variant name also here. So the variant name goes into the variant name and pretty much the variant set name goes into the variant set name. And that, that's pretty much it. Now, if you go back here, you'll see the variant set name on the, um, will appear. So, and then variant name will also appear. So you'll be able to change uh, this stuff here and give it a different naming or whatever you need. And the separator, we keep it blank because basically just using an underscore, uh, if you saw there, as the separator. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much. I hope this is useful for your pipe and you know, you might be able to use it in some cases. So thank you and see you next time.